So you set up, you said part of the way that you were able to sort of set up, you know, these multiple crushers and, and, and this, this new uh, type of operation you have now was, was in part because of, of uh, Finley Eastern, that, that on, is that an ongoing discussion with them? Um, you know, and even in the maintenance and things, can you sort of just do the setup of that relationship you have with them? Right. So when Keith originally came in, he took a look at our operation and he told me that he could really help us out. And, and from that moment in time, which was a few years ago, Keith and his team have been in and out of our quarry multiple times. And the relationship has evolved over time and the trust and the respect has grown so much that they've been able to help us understand how to produce more product, but lower cost at the same time. And it's really the equipment that helped us overcome the challenge. So I'm running one crusher versus one new crusher versus an old unit that we used to have. I'm putting so much more product on the ground with this equipment, it require, and it's much more fuel efficient. So I'm saving money on that. And then I don't have to work as many overtime hours to produce the same volume of product. So when we, when we bought the first crusher from Finley, it yielded significant gains for us. We then went back and purchased another crusher from them, which enabled us to kind of run multiple swim lanes at the same time. Now we're serving multiple industries at the same time, and we're still seeing greater yields and lower overhead operating costs, both in labor and in materials. So Finley really educated us on how the equipment was the right fit for our operation and how we could yield better results. So the partnership has been incredibly beneficial for us. Yeah, thanks. And I want to thank you for coming on the show, David. I, I've, you know, I've worked now with. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I, I've worked with Eric Finley, um, you know, as a manufacturer and now getting to work with Finley Eastern. I mean, and I talk to a lot of companies like daily on all different industries and just the level of care, even in prepping for this show, the level of care they put into what they're doing. I mean, if that translates into the service they're providing for you, um, I'm sure it's been a good experience. So thank you for being on the show right. and uh, hopefully we get to connect soon and uh, maybe at some point do a more long form and, and dig into your operation a little more. We're going to jump over to, Love uh, to do have, it. have Kelly on the show and uh, talk about some of the specs of the equipment. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. So now we're jumping over to Kelly Preston. Um, he is with Finley Eastern. Welcome to the show, Kelly. It's uh, great to have you on. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, I will say David gave you some glowing reviews. That's good to hear. Uh, he's he's a great guy to work with, and uh, it's just been 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 with him, I guess, in three years probably after him, uh, trying to work with him. I basically went in uh, a couple of years ago, and they had one um, piece of equipment there that they were having to use and change when they needed to make different things for different applications, and just yeah. kind of went in and figured out. Um, what they needed to do different or, you know, what problem could I fix with them? Um, and so just built a relationship with him and the quarry manager and kind of figured out what products they were making, what they needed to change, what, what kind of volume they needed and things like that. And we were able to get them a, uh, rented them first, a I-120 impact crusher, mm -hmm. which was a step up, very much a step up from um, the machine that they were using before. So that allowed uh, much more uh, productivity uh, much higher uh, volumes of material an hour um, so that you know that was the first first issue was being able to produce enough material so with a bigger newer crusher they were able to start start handling that yeah and then he was also talking about sort of the uh the the be able to switch be, because before they were having to switch back and forth between based on market demand now they can basically run two have two market demands going at the same time and that sort of thing. It, it actually, I'll be honest, it, it, what struck me is I thought, I wonder what we are doing internally. And if there was someone, uh, so <laughs> there was a Tarek Finley for the production side or a Finley <laughs> Ethan, I should say, for the production side that right. would come in and be like, hey, you could do this and get twice as much out of it. So, <laughs> so they, they went from one crusher uh, and one two deck um, incline screen to now they're running um, two impact crushers a one heavy duty scalping screen and two two deck uh, finish screens. So they're they're able to take uh, an eight eight three plus that they've gotten from us recently and 
uh, pre-screened material before it even goes through a crusher. So what they can do on a maybe a day that they have um, waste material or excess material built up, they can run it through um, this heavy duty scalping screen and get a finished product out of it without even having to crush anything. So when they when they do a blast there at Rockmart Slate, they end up with a uh, various size of materials all the way from three eighths minus all the way up to you know boulders that are foot, two foot cubic. And so they're able to take those materials because this is a very um, robust, large scalping deck and take those all those size materials and put them through this um, machine and come up with a product that they can then take. So what they do is they have a two inch top deck on the bottom and a three eighths deck on, I'm sorry, two inch top deck, a three eighths bottom deck. Basically what they're looking for, most of the value in their products is between that three eighths and two inch. Mm -hmm. So they can put that material, raw material across the screen and in the overs pile, the material that goes directly across the screen and comes off the end, they end up with material that can go directly into a crusher or can be stockpiled and crushed later. The medium sized material that comes off um, the bottom deck that doesn't go through it, that comes off of it is the material they take to a wash plant. So they take everything from two inch down to three eighths and run it through uh, a Terex uh, wash plant and create value to those products. And those are the, the products that they sell um, in the industrial, commercial and landscape applications. Um, anything that comes out underneath that three eighths is what they what they sell um, in some of the other applications. So it's they? much cheaper to it's much cheaper to run a screen as opposed to a crusher. Um, all of our crushers and screens are, are very good on consuming fuel and low maintenance costs. But of course, it costs much less to run a screen than it does a crusher. So they can get that size product out of only screening material that, that they're having to put less uh, money into the, the making of that. So when you say a screen, are these, uh, are these vibrating screens or are some vibrating and some aren't depending on the application? What's that set up? This is uh, um, all of the ones they use are all vibrating. They don't have any trommel screens there, but this is a two deck um, vibrating screen um, that has a metal infeed system. So instead of uh, one of the great things about the 883 plus is it doesn't have a, a rubber belt infeed system. So if you can imagine taking a big excavator and dumping all that large slate, which is very abrasive, Yep. into the hopper of that machine it doesn't have a, a rubber end feed system so it's not going to get punctured or put holes in it it's not going to wear out as fast it actually has a linked metal system that all those large pieces get dropped on and won't damage it and it feeds it up into the screen deck and the the screen deck vibrates the material spreads out across it is is that um is that quite common for for your customers and i want to get i want to quickly touch on a little bit of scope as well about finley eastern just to sort of understand your market but did they um is there a lot of customers doing do they start with rental units is that pretty common in your business it is so we um, a lot of people will um, rent the machine uh, to figure out if it's something that they need maybe they need a smaller one maybe they need a bigger one um, but we, we do a RPO situation, a rental purchase. Uh, um, and, and basically a, a customer, if they rent a machine for two months, they can take all of that rental um, money paid towards the machine and use it as a down payment. So we have a lot of customers who will, who will um, on the contractor side of it, who will build that rental rate into their bid for the job. And then they can apply that rental for the first two months towards the machine for the purchase. So it basically creates a down payment for them. Right. For their, okay. But, so we have a lot of customers who will rent the machine for a month or two and then purchase it after that. 